Hey, it's Storm from OpCritical. How you doing? We are uh, putting together a behind the scenes take on the new Fear Not video. Um, it's a video contrasting the use of propaganda and fear to control people um, with a fight against that and an openness uh, to transparency. So we wanted to go through some of the scenes what uh, was put in, why it was put in, and what was left out, and um, go from there. Before we got started on this video, we had to get uh, a lot of kind of interesting props, uh, straight jackets, uh, TV that we could smash, uh, some masks, orderly uniforms, cots, and stuff like that. And the, um, the producer of the video is a, a well-known Russian um, producer who felt a real affinity to the message um, of the video because he grew up under the Soviet propaganda scene and he saw similarities to that in uh, what was happening in America. So he, he took on this, uh, this video project with, with a lot of uh, gusto. We started the, the video out with the famous uh, quote from, from the uh, Hitler uh, regime where if you say a lie long enough many times that people will believe it and, and make it big so people really believe it. So that's uh, it's kind of what the Bush administration has been doing for years. We got a lot of footage of fear footage, propaganda footage, 9-11 footage and and we we put this in. One of the things that if you look carefully at the beginning of the, of the film where I'm watching the TV you can actually see the reflection in my eye. We've got the engineer from the, the studio there, Dave, set, setting up and, and setting up all the lights and um, it, was, it was quite extraordinary having uh, all these cameras at different angles and different types of cameras. Oh, you got Dimitri there in the, uh, in the hat, uh, you got Matt, you know, practicing up for his parts um, and, uh, and then you've got uh, Shadow on the drums. Um, we had an interesting technique that we used on the drums. We had, uh, he was actually using two snare drums and the kind of crack sound that you hear in the, um, in the song, it, it has a, a cymbal on the top of the snare, of the second snare drum. And that's what gets that, that really cool uh, cracking sound. That's uh, Sims on the uh, keyboards. Um, he played multiple roles here, he played the keyboards you know, in his uh, normal look, and then he dressed up um, in a suit and tie and, and did the propaganda footage in the middle. Uh, that's Danny Boy playing the, the guitar, um, and he's, uh, he's a pretty amazing guy. The straight jacket scene, we had a lot of trouble trying to find a, a venue for this. We were thinking about doing it in, in an abandoned mental hospital. Um, we ended up at a, a a high-rise hotel downtown uh, with lights on, on the side of the hallways. It looks very sterile. And then the other straight jacket scene was um, was done in front of the green screen. And the green screen allows uh, the director to put whatever footage he wants there. Um, and so it had me watching um, uh, propaganda footage, kind of like Clockwork Orange. Um, in front of the, the green screen and then Dimitri superimposed that over that. And and also Brian did his take, the propaganda uh, radio footage, TV footage uh, in front of the green screen. I got into my car um, and there was propaganda going on the radio and then I looked in the rear view mirror and saw propaganda uh, being played on the television and I just got out of my car, went to, picked up the sledgehammer and smashed the TV. Um, we actually had footage on the TV of the 9-11 hijackers coming through a, uh, the security check at the airport um, and we had multiple cameras going on at the time, uh, different angles and we captured some really cool footage where I, we didn't really know how a TV would react to being 
smashed. And so uh, we got some close-up footage, and you can actually see the um, the gases coming out of the uh, the television. It was pretty pretty amazing. I was representing the people of this country and saying we've had enough of this propaganda and fear and um, so we're rising up against it, we're rejecting it. And So the smashing of the TV was the metaphor for the rejection of this type of propaganda. One of the fun, really fun parts of the filming was when we um, had three extras come in and play uh, Cheney, Bush and Rice. Um, and this corresponds to the part in the song where they're taken away for rehabilitation. Um, and this, uh, we got, had these cots got, uh, we had these cots bought in gowns and masks of Bush, Cheney and Rice. And, and it, it took multiple takes because the straps kept coming off the, the actors and, um, uh, but it but it was a lot of fun. A couple things that were not didn't end up in the video, and one of them was a really cool scene where we had these uh, great uh, newspapers printed up. Our graph one of our graphics guys, Jose, um, printed up these newspapers with these big headlines showing propaganda. And in the scene that got cut, um, I actually pick up these newspapers and, and throw them in the trash. But uh, they're very realistic newspapers and we'll probably use them for something else in the future. Then there was a, another scene that we worked a long time on and it was fairly complex because it took place right in the middle of uh, the street downtown Washington DC in real traffic and we had um, a bunch of extras come in and, and put their hands over their face and uh, walk. And I ended up walking through the, the crowd of people. And as I did, they took their hands off their eyes and could see clearly and walked uh, with me to the Capitol to protest uh, what was going on. And, and basically it symbolizes the opening of people's eyes so that they can um, once they see what what's really happening and that's the pro it's really propaganda it's not really um real so that's um that's it i mean there there a lot of a lot of work goes into these uh these things it took several three or four days of shooting and hundreds of of takes and uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of footage and we had to pare it down to a, what three and a half or four minute song so we wanted to give you kind of a background so you can see what, what's involved with all this stuff. Take care and peace.